Hey there, everyone, welcome back to the Silver Series where we are going to be looking at Silver Bullet from Busy R Games. Let's do it. Hey there, everyone, my name is Dave here at GameVine. Now, we took a look at the first game in this line called Silver Amulet. Now, this is Silver Bullet. Now, the cool thing about this game is the fact that you can take the expansion and inject it into the base game here and it doesn't lengthen or bloat the game at all so if you take a number one from the silver bullet you would take the number one set out of the amulet and the deck still stays the same amount of cards but at different powers and you can kind of vary that out as much as you like now i'm not going to show you how to play the game in this video if you want to check that out it's in the last video i'm going to be checking out all the cards and what changes that silver bullet brings so let's go ahead and check out the production and then i'll tell you about the cards let's go all right so this is what you get in the box of silver bullet and right right off the get-go the little metal piece is much better it's flat on one side and looks just like a bullet and it has some heft to it really cool and then it just consists of cards and a really cool art like i said i can't really describe it it's more like a water paint oil paint kind of with this kind of comedic charm it's really cool and another scoring sheet but this time around they also give you a board for the discard and deck you really didn't need it and you didn't get it in the first silver game but i mean it'll come in handy all right so i'm not going to tell you actually how to play this game but i will go over every single card so you see what you're getting let's go so let's go over the few cards so number zero here is when face up at the end of your game uh, remove one card before scoring that's pretty nice to have and if you have like a 13 boom he shoots it out of, out of play so the one here is a plus which is interesting when face up add one to the value of a card when discarded which is interesting i'm not sure why that you would do that uh, number two is when face up flip one of your cards over and that could be useful she looks like wendy from um adam's family all grown up when face up discard one card to the bottom of the deck instead of the discard pile so if you don't want somebody grabbing a card that you have or uh, are, are discarding you can put it at the bottom of the deck all right number four when face up activate one of your uh, like power discards which is interesting now five is one of my favorites and i think i would put five it's really hard to even see the number there in my deck almost every time flip the deck over this is where the game starts to have some shenanigans and i'm all for it so five is definitely one i would put in my deck um now the bullet is just decoration it does the same thing as the amulet but i would prefer the bullet over the amulet number six is just flip a card over now the Insomniac, each one does have a name. I haven't been going over the names, but the Insomniac, if you all of your face down cards, that could be really useful. Now this number eight, the thing again, is another card that I would always have in my deck from here on out. Shuffle all face down cards in a player's village. So once they know what's going on, well, you're just gonna shuffle it up and they don't know which card is which. These two definitely go on in my deck. Number nine, uh, use the ability of one face up card in any village it could be interesting to have uh, move 10 cards from the deck to the discard pile that's crazy what are you doing the count all right so uh exchange one card from any player with one card from a different player that's the troublemaker and a lot of these roles come from their other game which is pretty cool now this one actually it has you interact with another player's village uh, again with a lot of these cards here this one is turn this card face up and add it to any other any player's village so you can add it to yours if you want but you can give 12 werewolf points straight up to somebody and that's whew, rough and copycat here is um this card is worth the lowest card in your village so it says 13 but it's an asterisk because it might be worth zero at the very end so those are all the cards now let me tell you what i think about this expansion so that is what comes in this box now i like this one i'm going to give it a a thumbs up if i had to give it a grade i would give it slightly better than silver amulet 
Did I give this one like a 75 or a 76? Whatever I gave this one, this gets one more point because I like the kooky nature of the powers and I'm definitely, definitely gonna take a lot of the number sets and put them in the base set here. Cause again, it's so cool that you can swap out these cards, such a great idea. And the fact that um, that hand, the thing, he is, going to be my favorite card for a long time so so far i do think you should start with this base set but definitely get silver bullet the bullet little um metal piece is really cool the cards are really cool art the powers do vary it up way more this really does have more interaction between players i think especially you interacting with their village so this is a must buy it does it gets the game vine play it award but if you're going to get the silver line the bullet has to be in that purchase so thank you so much again busy air for providing us with this review copy it really does help the channel grow and, and thank you so much again Vine nation for stopping on by for this review of the silver series we're going to be taking a look at the next one here soon called silver coins so until the next time that i see you then i'm dave and have a great rest of your day and a great time with all that you play I'm out, everybody. Bye. Vine Nation, we love making content here for you on the channel, and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers, so subscribe now and help us out. This video right here, I think you'll like. This video right here, YouTube thinks you'll like. Or you can just sit here and watch me dance the dinosaur for a little bit longer. You can visit us at our social media outlets, and we're going to be improving our Patreon here soon. That's all for today. Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.